Hey guys, so today I am going to tell you why you should get your Google Ad certification, which there are many now. And the most important one is Google Analytics, of course. Now, college is very expensive. I explained this to everybody. I went to NYU, I went to William Mary Law School. Combined, they cost about $336,000, $38,000. But at that point, who's counting? I'm just going around to $340,000. And, you know, I got into business debt a little later. So obviously these schools didn't really teach me how to not sign a bad contract uh, a little later in business. So I got into more debt from uh, free bad invest investors who own 71% of my company. But I'll make a longer video about that later. So I'm only going to talk about Google Ads. Yeah, you can make a ton of money if you know what you're doing here either for yourself or you can do a freelance or you can work at an agency or you can start your own agency. I've experienced in both. It used to be, this is how old I am, that you paid $50 to take this test and if you failed, you would have to pay another $50. And this would prevent people from you know, taking the test too much or having someone from India to take the test for them because they would actually have to learn it. Nowadays, the Google exams are kind of a joke but the reason you should take them is because if you really do study, you don't pay a person from India to take them for you, which is not what you should do. You don't Google them online, the questions, all the questions and their correct answers are Googleable online. There are certain websites that that's their primary function is to provide questions to, and then they would charge you money to download the answers, of course. You, I mean, there's probably hundreds of them. Uh, for this test, who sweet, uh, you know, that's why I don't take these tests seriously anymore. I um, mean, it's nice that you passed, yes. And, and here's what's good about it. If you interview, let's say you interview my company to be a PPC person, I see that you pass these tests. At the very least, I know you made the effort to pay someone in India. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, joke aside, we have something to talk about. So if I'm giving you a question about mobile apps, and CTR rates and mobile apps, you should know what that means because you passed this test. And if you passed a YouTube test, then you, and then, you know I can ask you questions about YouTube advertising and how that works and so on. You know, CPMs, what's a good bid, what's not a good bid. And if you did display, I can tell you, okay, what programs do you use to make your ads? Do you use Canva? Do you use Adobe? How can you make 100 ads very quickly with different colors and variances? Um, is there a program for that that you've heard of and so on now analytics is my favorite and analytics there's no bsing this you either know it or you don't so i can show you like a client obviously i scrub their name show you some charts and show you some numbers some cpms and then at the interview i will ask you okay so what do you think can be improved how do you think this client is doing and because i have sales data from my client I can see like how realistic this person is. If the number is too high, then I would be like, oh, this guy's probably doesn't, has never worked these accounts before. So all it comes down is to numbers, spend, um, and honestly, effort. And that's the beauty of uh, Google Ads. Anyone can be a millionaire from Google Ads. It's really simple. Ty Lopez does YouTube ads and he's a millionaire. Uh, now, do I agree with his tactics of selling social media courses and that? No, I don't think that's great, but hey, to each their own, right? But there's a lot of these uh, online gurus who do something like this and that's how they make money, right? They use pay-per-click or YouTube ads, which is kind of pay-per-click, it's pay-per-view. And they make money that way. And they make lots and lots of money that way. So at the very least, I can say Ty Lopez or whoever is doing the accounting or doing the pay-per-click is good at what they do because they make lots of money. So the beauty of Google Ads and understanding it is you also learn about something called SEO. So the language is the same. It's like one of these romance languages. Like once you learn PPC, it will be easier for you to learn SEO because they share a lot of commonalities. SEO is extremely profitable. I mean, I don't see how an agency that does SEO makes less than a million dollars in revenue a year. And now that revenue, I mean, it's again, very profitable, but you gotta pay your overhead and expenses and so on. So your Google ads is a really, it gives you lots of options, um, especially if you'd made, 
maybe you don't have a college degree that's not relevant, like art history. No offense to art history majors, but I cannot remember the last time I wanted to know anything about art history. I'm sure some of you are art history majors. <laughs> now that I think about my demographics a little bit more, uh, geez, right? But anyway, my point is, you make more than a patent attorney. That's why I'm not a patent attorney because I make more money owning my own business. And it's very stable. Like, so let's say you pass a Google ad exam. You have so many options. You can start your own company and do PPC for yourself, which then you should generate money, very similar to Ty Lopez. Uh, as long as every ad, every dollar you spend on an ad brings $2 back on an intangible item like a social media course, even if it brings a dollar and one cent back, you run it till it cannot run. You run it until you hit the menacing returns to get it under a dollar. Because at that point, it's just profit, plus you're promoting yourself, and the more people who buy your online courses will then tell other people and so on. So you could either make a business yourself, which is what uh, is it I've done myself, Princess Party Company, my toy store, I run my own social media, SEO, obviously, and PPC for the toy store on Amazon. Next, you can so Amazon isn't, so once you learn Google ads, you kind of understand how Facebook ads and Instagram ads and Amazon ads and Snapchat ads, like you can figure out how the rest of the paper click funnels work, right? Bing is almost identical to Google. So you would know that as well. You pass your Google ads, you can either work for yourself, you can start a marketing agency, which is what I did. You can freelance, which is kind of like a marketing agency, but with less um, overhead and less employees, obviously no employees at that point, or you can get hired by another marketing agency. That's really good for someone without a degree to have all of those options. So you're not even just looking for one sector of jobs. The worst case scenario, you just start your own freelance business or your own, you know, eventually your own agency which is a lot different. Now a lawyer can do this. A lawyer can set up buy malpractice and you know, set up their own agency and shop. Uh, they call it hanging their shingle, right? The, from the olden days where they had the shingles in the street or the name of the company of the business. Um, in my opinion, wow, it's really easy to start a marketing business and it's really easy to do well. Um, like, once I saw the bit, so it wasn't like I came out, I, it wasn't, I knew because I worked at a business. Now, when I first joined this startup, I had no idea it would sell for the amount of money it sold for. But I knew that this was a very lucrative opportunity because once I worked in this business, we were hiring pay-per-click specialists. We hired someone from Dallas for $130,000 $130, a year. And she couldn't even log into the effing account. That's how incompetent this person was. And yet we paid her $130,000 a year. We paid another person, uh, his, what was his name? I think his name was Nate from California. And actually he was pretending he was from California. He's actually from India because we'd sent him a laptop, which was sent to his like, a storage facility for his brother to pick up and and whenever we would Skype him it would always be really dark <laughs> it would be like like you know there's a two hour time difference between Texas and California but it shouldn't be like pitch black outside like what's going on and his name real name wasn't Nate we just called him Nate but his like real name so he was Indian I think everyone and I concluded that he was from India pretending to live in America so we would pay him eighty ninety thousand dollars a year then there was a person from Oklahoma City with no experience and after like two days, at least he was honest, he just quit and said, you know, I can't do these accounts. I don't know what's going on. Goodbye. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then I handled the accounts I, by passing my Google ads. That's all it took for my company to hand me about a million dollars a month in accounts, 12 point, what was it, $12.6 million to spend a year. All it took was for me to pass my Google ads and then I took over the accounts. And once I realized how easy it was, pay-per-click, like really it's all about putting maximal effort in. The more effort you put into something in pay-per-click, because it changes all the time. Everything changes fast. It's an auction system. It changes every second. 
every second you have different competition. You, you might even have, what's really interesting is when like a non-vertical um, competitor comes along and it's like, let's say it's all a bunch of personal injury lawyers and we're bidding on uh, mesothelioma. And then suddenly um, mesothelioma is the name of, uh, I guess like maybe a concert or something. I don't know why it would be, I'm just using this as an example. Well, suddenly this new company comes in and it's like, hey guys, what's up? And you're like, whoa, I know, I know competitor A, B, C, D, and E. And we're fighting, you know, tooth and nail. Who, who's this new guy who's coming in? Like, and why is he bringing all this budget and like inflating our uh, costs? Or when a new law firm comes in, our new dentist, it's really wild because things change on a day-to-day -day basis due to your competition changing. And if your competition is really smart, they are evolve with you. Now, if they're dumb, they're just not going to do it. They're just going to spend out the money and that will be the end of that. But that's all it took for me to get $12.4 million of PPC account, political and auto dealership mostly, and lawyers. And to pass my Google ads test, I showed it to my boss at the time. He was impressed for whatever reason because the people we were interviewing, they didn't even do the minimal effort, which was to pass these really Google, simple Google ads exams. And again, we hired um, Paula V from Dallas. We paid her $130,000 a year. She didn't even know how to log in. She didn't even know where the login URL was. We paid uh, Nate eighty to $90,000 a year. This was a dude who was clearly in India, clearly in India, pretending he was in California and lying about everything. And you know, it was just awful. And uh, Stephanie would back me up on that. Stephanie was our PPC person who we paid quite a bit of money, but she was poached. Wow, like, and she, was a, she is and still and was a very good friend of mine. She is a very good friend of mine and we talk about PPC all the time when we do talk. Uh, she works at a very, very big agency and I think she's like top tier in terms of PPC people I've met. I've met a lot of PPC people and you don't have to be like a genius. You just have to work hard and you will get a $100,000 job. I don't see how that's po not possible in this current field and current market because my competition, I mean, I don't know what they're doing, but they're definitely not working on their PPC accounts. I can tell you that much because I just conquest them and they never fight back. They just lay down until the next month starts. They didn't realize what happened for the last 20 days. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, fine. You change, I change. So passing the Google ads exam, very, very uh, important if you want to make lots of money. Bye guys.